What's going on guys? I appreciate you tuning in to today's episode. Got something a little bit different for you today. We've hit the road. We're up in Newcastle uh, in the HQ of uh, one of the great toy sellers of, of, of Australia, of Sydney, Tony B from Uncle T's Toys. If you've watched any of my collectic on toy hunts, you'll have heard the name Tony B and Uncle T's Toys. Tony B's a fixture of the toy fair circuit here in Australia, but he doesn't just do toy fairs. He also does a lot of Facebook auctions from here, from his garage. And today we are invading his garage and we're getting a look at a lot of the cool stuff that we don't get to see at Collecticon. So let's rip into it. Let's see what Uncle T's Toys is all about. Toy hunting at Tony B's is kind of like toy hunting in the back room of a vintage toy store. You know, we get to see the cool stuff that he brings to his stalls at Collecticons and the cool stuff that he puts up for auction on his live auctions, but to see the full stash is just next level. And that place was packed wall to wall, floor to ceiling with cool vintage stuff. We had racks of carded action figures. We had ceiling high shelves full of larger items. And then we just had a ton of tubs packed with just cool smaller pieces to dig through. And I gotta tell you guys, it was pretty overwhelming to kind of wander around and try and get my bearings and work out where to start because that place is stacked. Now once I got my bearings, I thought there's probably no better place to start the day's hunt than at the entrance. And at the entrance, there was a, a cabinet that had a bunch of standout pieces. Tony had an incredible Voltron set that displayed beautifully. I'm not a Voltron guy, but this thing popped. It was in really nice condition. He also had some superpowers figures. I'm always on the hunt for superpowers, so it was cool to have a look at those. And Tony also had some really cool Mr. T pieces. Who would have thought that Uncle T would be a fan of Mr. T? And it was cool to see some of those larger scale Mr. T dolls that are boxed, you know, in really nice condition with, with all the accessories. It's always cool to see those up close. I don't see them too often. But the item that I pulled out of that cabinet that kind of kicked me off on today's toy hunt was a Kenner Real Ghostbusters item. I haven't been picking up too much Real Ghostbusters lately, so it was really cool to see the pull speed ahead ghost. So I might have my first item of the day with this ghoul speed ahead Kenner Ghostbusters piece, which is in beautiful condition, but even better, we've got his little ripcord here. So this is definitely gonna go in the maybe pile and we might do something with this a little bit later. Let's see, but we're scooping him out. And I did in fact pick up Pull Speed Ahead. I thought this guy was called Ghoul Speed Ahead. I'm not quite sure where I got that from, but I did pick up Pull Speed Ahead and I was stoked to find him. He, he is a ghost that you see, or he's a figure that you see relatively frequently. He's not exactly a rare piece, but what is much harder to find is the actual pull cord. And this thing is awesome. It's in great condition. And I just love this toy line. Tons of awesome sculpting detail in terms of this ghost figure, or this creature figure. But the sculpting extends to the actual ripcord. The ripcord handle has a super nicely detailed creature there and it's in nice condition and this thing works. I'm not gonna demonstrate this and send this thing flying across the collection room, but it does in fact work. We can feed that ripcord through here and get that wheel spinning. So that is awesome. Stoked to have pull speed ahead in the real Ghostbusters collection. The day's off to a great start. So the one toy line that kind of dominated the toy hunt today for me was Ring Raiders. If you follow the channel, you might have heard me talk about Ring Raiders before. It's a fairly obscure toy line by Matchbox from the late 80s. 
it was a line that I really enjoyed as a kid for all of about five minutes. I was probably into Ring Raiders for about six months or so as a kid in 1989, 1990, but when I was into it, I was all the way into it. So I love collecting Ring Raiders nowadays, but I kind of feel like I'm the only person that collects these things. I don't think Ring Raiders has much of a collector base. Um, maybe just here in Australia, but I always love Tony B's stalls at Collector Cons because he always brings some Ring Raiders. And, and visiting Tony B's today, it was really cool to be able to see his full stash of Ring Raiders without the distraction and the competition of the Collector Con crowds. So if you guys saw one of my recent Collector Con videos, you would have seen me agonizing over this Ring Raiders Air Carrier Justice playset. And uh, I'm gonna have another chance to possibly do a deal on this thing today, so. But without the chaos of Collecticon, I can have a closer look and try and work out if it's complete and, and uh, yeah, have a closer look at it. So definitely gonna be talking about that one later. Mighty Max Mackers set. What are you talking about? A couple of the Mighty Max shrunken heads. Cool to see. We've got McDonald's Nugget Buddies. Just so many random oddities. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. How cool is that? Dude. That's wicked. So there's a ton of plush here, including some full nostalgic pieces like this. Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> awesome. Tony also had a huge selection of vintage plush. I'm talking Teddy Ruxpin, Cabbage Patch Kids, Sesame Street characters, just, you know, pieces that scream the 80s and the 90s. Now, plush toys is not exactly a road of I'm going down as far as my collecting, as at least not at this stage, but it was really cool to see so many of these plush toys that I remember from back in the day. Tony also had a couple of tubs of VHS tapes for us to go through, and I've not been picking up much VHS lately just because of space, but I still love digging through and seeing what nostalgic tapes I can find. A tape from TV, what have we got on this one? Let's have a look. More episodes of He-Man. That is so cool. Creature from the Swamp. Orko's favorite uncle. Prince Adam no more. That is awesome. I'll play it for you. X Rental Robocop 3. Oh, big Box ET. Do I have this? I've got ET in a small sell through case, but that's cool. Oh. Jean Claude Van Damme Street Fighter film on the Big Box X Rental. That is awesome. Tablecloths, like for your themed birthday party. That's awesome. So Casper. And the Batman. That is awesome. Batman Forever. Very cool. Tony also had a bunch of vintage Masters of the Universe. He had those role-playing toys, the kids' power sword and battle axe toys in all different colors that I showed during a, a recent Collecticon toy hunt. Power sword. <laughs> we got the Thundercat sword. Thundercat shield, just tons of role-playing weapons. He also had something that I've never seen before, some vintage Motu games, like target practice games with a game board and some balls that you'd throw. These are incredible. Masters of the Universe target practice games. Unreal. 
Very cool. Okay. Not to mention heaps of loose Motu figures to dig through in lots of tubs, and even a vintage boxed spider, which was really cool to see. Tony had heaps of McDonald's toys and other fast food toys. At one point, Tony was just tipping out tubs and tubs of Happy Meal toys that Monique and some of the other guys were digging through and, and picking out some cool pieces to add to their collections. Other kind of more random uh, McDonald's collectibles, like a really cool 80s McDonald's calendar. And, and yeah, just lots and lots of different fast food toys. The Macca's that all flying, they do loop-de-loop -loop and all that mm. stuff, eh? Yep. I'm gonna build that at home. <laughs> that is awesome with Ronald McDonald behind the wheel in the cockpit. Oh, the clown flying. That is awesome. And what else have you got? Oh, it's just a, another Macca's another toy. Another Macca's thing. toy. Animaniacs. There was one piece there that I had to pick up and add to my collection, and it's this Agro from Agro's Cartoon Connection, this Pizza Hut finger puppet. Look at that. Agro, Agro's Cartoon Connection. Anyone watching from outside of Australia will know nothing about this, but. Agro was an absolute staple of like my breakfast TV viewing as a kid, so stoked to have some Agro representation in the collection. Agro is basically a, a puppet host of a, a cartoon kind of compilation show that I used to watch on weekday mornings and absolutely love as a kid. Get up early to watch Agro's Cartoon Connection before school. And I've got no Agro in the collection. There's not too much aggro merch, so it was really cool to find one of these Pizza Hut finger puppets, and yeah, we'll definitely give aggro a prominent display in the collection room. Who made these? Kidco. Kidco 1980 Key Racers. Ready? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that's awesome, man. I'm sure I had a bunch of these like yeah, we all did as a kid, I, I, I definitely had them. Yeah, that's sick. So yeah, definitely something for everyone at Tony B's. Even the girls, Tony had the ladies covered with a, a lot of cool 80s and 90s girls toys, including some really cool boxed and sealed Barbie pieces, which, hey, Barbie's not my thing, but it's still very cool to see. Iconic stuff from the 80s and 90s. Argos was a um, store in the UK um, I believe they're still there. Um, the giant like warehouses. So you go in, you've got a beautiful showroom, but there's not much on display and they have these, well, they're probably computerized now, but back when I was there, they had these catalogs. And what you do is you flip through the catalog, write down on an order form the number, hand it to the person, they go out to the back of the warehouse and get it. That is awesome. So, so this is 1996. Lots of cool girls toys. Anything for the lads in there? Well, that's what I'm trying to find. Uh, we've got Lego, Techniques. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's I the good these, stuff. I love these toy catalogues from this era. Simeon Space Monkeys. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that, Gargoyles, Power See, Rangers. I wasn't collecting toys in this era, but uh, like, oh. they're, they're so rad though, eh? Look at that, Street Sharks, $8.50. Eight wow. Action Man. Oh, wow. He must have been popular. He's got two pages. Oh, look at that. Cars, That's... RC cars. Look at the Batman. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah. yeah, somebody brought me this round, so I thought you might like it, and I'm like, yep. I love it. Oh, yep, that's a bit of me for sure. Oh. Look the old skateboards. So as we started to finalise our pickups and get ready to kick back and enjoy some lunch, I had to correct a mistake from Collecticon a few months back. I had to have a chat with Tony B and try and make that Ring Raiders Air Carrier Justice mine, because I'd made my mind up at that point, I was not leaving without that thing. So guys, here we have it. I just did a bit of a deal with Tony. We pulled some parts off a second kind of not quite as nice air carrier justice, which means this one now has the gun that it was missing. Satellite dish. 
We've got all these little guns. I'm not quite yeah, no, sure about what's going on there. I, I don't know. If anyone lets, if anyone knows, definitely let me know. But now this thing is, from what I understand, complete with the exception of one of the landing gears. But, I mean, pretty nice, pretty clean. About as complete as I'm going to find one. And Tony, the absolute legend, has hooked it up with a ridiculous price that I just can't knock back. So the air carrier justice is coming home with me. And this instantly becomes one of my favorite things I've picked up this year. And here we have it guys, this thing is awesome. It's so big I can barely fit it in the frame. But yeah, I'm loving this. I'm so stoked that Tony and I managed to get a deal done on it. Tony looked after me as he always does. And not only did he give me a great price on it, but he let me pull a couple of pieces off another version of the air carrier justice just to get this thing as complete as we could. From what I can see, from what I can research, I believe it's complete with the exception of one of the landing gear underneath, which I'm going to keep an eye out for. What I really want to try to do is track down the instruction manual for this so I can understand not only all of the different pieces, but all of the little features because the commercial for this toy from back in the 80s seems to show like a launcher feature and I think it's this here, but it looks a lot different on the actual produced version of the toy unless this is actually missing a piece. I'm not too sure. So if anyone out there has a complete version with the instruction manual, definitely let me know because I'd love to try and get my hands on a photo of that. But yeah, a very, very cool toy. Let's not let the impracticality of an air carrier that has planes landing at a crosswind, don't let that ruin this thing for you. This is just awesome. Now, like I mentioned in that Collecticon toy hunt a couple of months back, I got nowhere to display it at this point in time. I'm gonna have to do some rejigs. I was initially thinking about hanging this thing, like stringing it from the ceiling, which I thought would be awesome. But all the kind of appeal of this is, is at the top more so than underneath. So I'm thinking I need to display it on a shelf at a bit of a lower aspect so I can see that, have all the different little individual ring raiders displayed on top of it. And this is just awesome, man. I'm loving it. Not only is it like the flagship playset for the Ring Raiders toy line, it also folds up into a nifty little carry case so you can throw all your Ring Raiders toys in and wander over and go play at your mate's house and not lose anything. So it's just wicked. Instantly, one of my favorite pickups of the year. It might make an appearance in my New Year Top 5 stream with Matt from Keep On Collecting that we're gonna tee up in the coming months. And yeah, super stoked. So yeah, big shouts to Tony B for hooking it up with the Ring Raiders Air Carrier Justice playset. Now we had a solid crew joining us today and toy hunting with other collector friends usually means encouraging slash enabling one another and that's exactly what happened today. Look at the title, even the blue thing. The, the display yeah. case thing. Like, when do you see Ring Raiders? Yeah, very true. You make some smart points, Dan. <laughs> I'm not trying to convince you, but I'm just saying. No, this is what we do to one another. When are you going to see this There's again, no Scotty? When are, no see, when are you going to see? When are you going to see this again, Scotty? If you don't get it, no, nope, you're 100 percent like, right though. What I've come to think is, look, there's nothing online. Why are you trying to look up this thing? Very true. Very true. So the Ring Raiders pickups didn't end with the Air Carrier Justice. I also picked up a couple of things that I never see before. These little badges were part of the Ring Raiders Air Award series. And they're these little vac metal plastic badges that are in really nice condition. So we've got two here. We've got Commander Vector's Leadership Award and we've got Commander Thundercloud's Rescue Award. These are in fantastic condition. And these little award pieces came with vac metalized planes, special kind of commemorative planes. And I managed to pick up a couple today. I've got like a, a silver chrome and a gold chrome one, which are really cool in really nice condition. Now, I don't know if these are the planes that came with these particular awards because it's really difficult to find like a, a super detailed checklist for the Ring Raiders toy line that has pictures. But regardless, I'm still stoked to have these in the collection. They're going to display great. And not only that, I also managed to find a loose version of a knockoff that I've been picking up quite frequently. And with big assistance from Dean from Totally Tailored Retro Hunters, he's been picking these things up for me whenever he sees them. And that's the Sky Strike Ring Fighter toys. So guys, check this out. I've been picking up these carded knockoff Ring Raider sets, these Sky Strike Ring Fighters. And I've managed to find a loose version here. And this thing is awesome. So I might have to grab this as well. We'll throw this on the maybe pile. Knock off Ring Raiders, Sky Strike Ring Fighters, loose. There we go. 
So I had to pick up this little Sky Strike Ring Fighter and it's really cool to see how these actually work off the card because all the other ones I have are sealed. And this thing is awesome, man. It, it shoots across the room, but it's got like a hair trigger. So I don't even think I'm going to be able to display this thing on the ring or it'll just be like firing off and bringing everything down on the display. But yeah, I'm stoked to have this little loose Sky Strike Ring Fighter in the collection. Very cool. And I also managed to pick up another one of the Ring Raiders playsets, or at least a starting point for another one of the Ring Raiders playsets. This is like just the base of the Sky Base Courage playset, missing everything with the exception of a couple of guns here which are still hanging on. And yeah, Tony was looking after me on price and I saw this and I thought, why not? We'll add it to, we'll add it to my pile and we'll bring it home. So stoked to have just the, the base, the bare bones of the Sky Base Courage. And, I'll either try and pick up parts as I find them, or this will just be a placeholder until I can upgrade. But yeah, really happy to have the Sky Base Courage to add to the growing Ring Raiders collection. Tony was also cool enough to show us some of his personal collection, including some awesome Mr. T custom pieces. And this one, so we were at Supernova and a lady came past with a big crocheted Bowser. Yeah. And I said to her, where'd you get that? She's like, I made it. And I'd had a picture of a dodgy one someone had made in the States. And I said, do you reckon you could make that? And she goes, yeah, easy. So I gave him a card. A week later, I got a text message off her. She goes, it's done. Oh, that's wicked. That is awesome. So Mr. T on a custom horse with the spoiler and the side mirrors. That is just wild. Oh, it's awesome. Very, very cool. That's amazing stuff for me. So yeah, really good day on the hunt today, surrounded by absolute legends. Like I said, we had a solid crew joining us today. We had Matt from Keep On Collecting reunited with us for the first time in months. That was a particularly cool part of today, so a big shout out to Matt. Happy to have you link up with us again, mate. It's always awesome getting on the hunt with you. As always, we had Dean, we had Stan, we had Dan, we had Monique. We had some new friends that I met for the first time. We had Nate from The Retro Tinker. I definitely recommend you check out The Retro Tinker on YouTube. Nate does great restoration work and it was really cool to see Nate pick up a whole swag of vintage fixer-uppers. Toys that needed some TLC to bring them back to their former glory and I've got no doubt Nate will do just that and I'll be keeping an eye out on his YouTube to see some cool resto projects of some of the pieces that he picked up today. So that was really cool. But I've got to give a special shout out to Nate because he hooked me up with a custom piece that he put together for me. And man, I'm super appreciative. This is a custom VHS, The Young and the Wrestlers. Let me explain this to you. We did a live stream with Nate and a bunch of other people where we were talking about our favorite TV shows of our childhood, you know, memories of watching TV during the 80s and 90s. I was a big wrestling kid. If you follow the channel, you'll know this, man. I'm, I was all about Hulk Hogan and the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And, you know, I, we had very little wrestling on TV here in Australia. Pretty much no wrestling on free-to-air TV during the era that I was into it. And I kind of got my wires crossed with my mum watching daytime TV. I thought The Young and the Restless, I was sitting down with her to watch The Young and the Restless. Safe to say, disappointed after every episode. I told this story to the boys and Nate's put together this awesome custom VHS case. We've got iconic wrestling superstars. We've got some less iconic to me, Young and the Restless superstars here. We've got a little kind of blurb on the back with storylines that combine characters from the young and the restless and the wwf which is just incredible you know rick flair and wealthy divorcee cassandra rawlins i'm absolutely loving it and it's not just the case you open it up and he's actually labeled up a vhs tape the young and the wrestlers and i'm just loving this thing this is going to take pride of place in my collection I reckon when my mum sees this, she's going to get a kick out of it as well. So yeah, big shout out, Nate. Really appreciate it, mate. Awesome to meet you today and look forward to having the chance to cross paths again soon, man. Cheers. So yeah, guys, what a day. I've got to give a massive shout out to Dean for giving us a lift. It was it was really cool to be able to kick back and have a chinwag with Dean and his dad, Stan, and just talk toys rather than driving their solo. So big, big shout out to Dean for not only driving, but also organizing today. And obviously big, big thanks to Tony B and his family for hosting us and looking after us. It was an absolute pleasure, mate. So thank you so much. Guys, if you're a toy collector here in Sydney, definitely keep an eye out for 
Tony B and Uncle T's toys at your collector cons, but Tony B also hits the road and does toy fairs outside of Sydney, so keep an eye out for Uncle T's toys. But if you're elsewhere in Australia, I definitely recommend you join the Facebook group Uncle T's Toys. Tony does great live Facebook auctions and always has some awesome pieces put up for auction. And not only that, he's a champion bloke, and uh, I definitely recommend you check him out and support him. But guys, that will do us for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've made it this far, you're a dead set champion. I appreciate you watching. I hope to hear from you in the comments. As always, you can always hit us up on Instagram at Crusher Collects and say g'day. And show me your pickups, show me your collection rooms. I'll always love seeing that shit. And yeah, that'll do us for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you back soon for the next one. And until then, cheers.